Hello, my name is Elisa Albert, and I am incredibly excited to become a part of Shakespeare and Company's family. I am a recent graduate of Southern Connecticut State University with a bachelor's in psychology and a minor in theater. I am currently working on a Midsummer Night's Dream with Elm Shakespeare Company and I have been opened up into the beautiful world of Shakespeare. I've met many people who've expressed their gratitude towards Shakespeare and Company and their growth through there. So I feel as if this would be a perfect next step for me entering into the professional world of theater. I am now doing Phoebe from As You Like It, followed by Rumor from Henry IV, Part Two. I would not be thy executioner. I fly before I would not injure thee. Thou tellest me there is murder in mine eyes. <laughs> Tis pretty. Sure, and very probable that eyes, which are the softest and frailest things who shut their coward gates and atomies, should be called tyrants, butchers, or murderers. Now I do frown on thee with all my heart, and if my eyes can wound, now let them kill thee. Now counterfeit to swoon, why now fall down? Or if thou canst not, oh, for shame, for shame, lie not to say mine eyes are murderers. Now show me the wound mine eyes hath made in thee. Scratch thee but with a pin and there remains some scar of it. Lean but upon a rush, the cicatrice and capable in pressure, thy palm some moment keeps. But now mine eyes, which I hath darted at thee, hurt thee not. Nor, I am sure, there is no force in eyes that can do hurt. Open your ears. For which of you will stop the vent of hearing when loud rumor speaks? Upon my tongues, continual slanders ride, the which in every language I pronounce, stuffing the ears of men with false reports. I speak of peace. While covert enmity under the smile of safety wounds the world. And who but rumor? <laughs> who but only I make fearful musters and prepare defense. Whilst the big year, swollen with some other griefs, is thought with child by the stern tyrant war and no such matter. Rumor is a pipe. Blown by surmises, jealousies, conjectures, and of so easy and so plain a stop that the blunt monster with uncounted heads, the still discordant, wavering multitude, can play upon it. Thank you.